Yes. Oh, his whole PS3, so as oh, is. What's up, everybody? This is Mr. Rightway, and thank you so much for coming back for episode six of Rebuilding the Collection the Right Way. Guys, this is going so well. Thank you so much for all the support. Guys, you are enjoying these episodes. I'm reading the comments. Thank you so much. But before we get into the episode, guys, I got to make a special announcement. Last video, I gave away this. Nobody didn't claim it, so the time is up. I'm so sorry. So we had to move on to the next person. If you want to win this box, guys, let me know how many games are in here. And the first person who subscribed to the channel will win this box. Now, this box is only for U.S. residents. So please be aware of that. All right. So let's get into today's episode because we are going so many great places. I have special guests joining me. And guys, we're doing a big trade. That's right. I am trading one of my arcade one-ups for some games. That's right. One of my beloved arcade one-ups for some games. Yes, it does work. We tested it before we traded it. I just can't believe what I got to the collection, guys. So, hey, let's get into today's episode of Building the Collection the Right Way, episode number six. Let's go. Let's look at this Donatello right here. I don't know if this is a pillow pad or what is this thing he is. But it's 191. But also, I found this. Okay, so this morning's rebuilding the collection has been going okay. I've noticed a lot of Goodwills are starting not to have games no more, so I don't know if they're really sending stuff back in. That's not troubling because I got other methods, but still, Goodwill is always the best shop. But so far, one Goodwill had Bioshock, then Tomb Raider. This, I don't know what this Donatello thing is. I like turtles, but yeah, it's, it's okay. I don't know if it's a pillow pet. It looks like a pillow pet, but I don't know. A Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Think four. So that's good for the day's haul. I guess I'm gonna go to another Goodwill and see. Probably hit another pawn shop up and just see how everything's going, guys. All right, so let's get to the next area and see if they have anything else so we can rebuild this game collection. All right, let's go. Okay, so I found this right here, right behind four found this Grand Theft Auto Vice City soundtrack. So that's a good start. So come find two good games today. I know these rock bands go for a lot. But then I walk up on somebody who I see all the time. Look at this guy right here. What's up, dude? What's up, man? What's going? Cool. <laughs> no, I don't need that. Now that I look at these right here, man, I don't think I'm actually going to get these. because the It says 16, in which I'm not a big fan of Xbox One right now. But look at all this stuff here. It, it really is nothing really good. Paw Patrol. Here's a game. I think I'm started going back to pawn shops. Up there. Where? She's left up there. Uh -huh. What is it? I bet it's PS3? let me see. Is it PS3? Or it's oh his whole PS3, so as oh, is twenty dollars. Should we? Should I get this? And another one? I think it goes with that. So yeah, you got forty dollars all there. I don't have to check this out because I don't have this PS3. Well, thank you for showing that PS3. <laughs> I need that one. I think I'm gonna leave these right. Here. I don't know. Let's put it right in the box. There we go. I actually just want one for the collection. Yeah, it I looks. Want the, I want to get the colored ones. I do want like that blue the, one. Look, it's, blue, the it's red. really dirty. It but is. I guess we can open up and clean it. Well, see how it is with two controllers. That's nice. <laughs> the, Our family wedding DVD, not even Blu-ray. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's see. I bet they haven't tested it. Oh well. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. There's no power it's cord on it. The, uh, HDMI. So. That is crazy. That's rebuilding the collection. Oh look, that's easy to find the power cord. No yeah. HDMI. The two round. Yeah. I guess. I pick them up every time I see them in like thrift stores and everything just to have extra. Let's get this and check out, guys. Hopefully it works. This is a generic because it just says LED projector on it, so I wouldn't even touch it. It don't look good? Well, if it's generic like that, they can't even put their name. They're not even proud of it. Yeah. I wonder how the bulb is on there. Yeah, that's probably not that great. Yeah. 
Well, but got this right here, so. And I got my PlayStation 3 shirt on today, so I guess it's fitting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, here's some dinosaur works. How much are these things? Look at this, these fossils. I'm gonna check these, how much they're worth. It's not worth it. Oh, this one goes for a little bit more, but no. So you see your gross proceeds? I said, can't even talk today. That's yeah, nice. so you subtract another four bucks from it. I mean, I mean, it's still some profit from it, but yeah. These are, I died for these as a child. You know what? I might just get one of these just for my son because he just might want to open this up and just try it, you know? Oh, yeah. I think I might get one for him just so he can just play it, you know? Because he likes science and all that kind of stuff. Do you need this for your pills? <laughs> man, I'm not that old, bro. You don't have that many pills you got to keep talking? <laughs> I'm not that old, man. Come on. <laughs> I'm helping you. Trying to help you out, man. Oh, man. That's, that's messed up. That's real messed up. <laughs> Look at the boogie board. Look at this right here. Game your core. Man, that's, that don't look, that looks dangerous. All right, so let's get this. And Charlie Chan. Charlie Chan, I've got everything he ever made and I'll tell you, they'll put me to sleep like that. Oh, wow. But the thin man with William Powell and Hunter Law, it was pretty good too. <laughs> Hotspot account? Yeah. It was uh, seventy-five dollars, and I I went ahead and uh, used my half off at MetroQuest, and mm -hmm. then uh, so I got it for half off on that. But like the lowest on eBay for new, two hundred thirty dollars. Hey, well, I'm definitely not gonna sell this. This Goodwill had some good stuff, guys, and I actually found my friend Mike. Well, he just he's off of work. Well, you're not off of work. He's on lunch, lunch break. break. Yeah. My lunch break's over, so I gotta keep going. All right, man. Take your seat, man. See you, brother. Yeah, later. All right, I found Ultra Street Fighter 4 for 14 bucks. It usually goes for $30. It's going to get a little expensive because this is a really good Street Fighter game. And it was the last one on PlayStation 3, Xbox 360. So it's really good. I'm glad I found it. Pretty good day. Pretty good day, I say so. So this game right here is extremely, extremely, extremely hard to find. I've only seen three copies out in the wild. And it's just this flea market that we're going to. I'm trying to look for more games around here, but it is definitely a hard game to find and collect for. So. This game is going to be extremely difficult. I think this is going to be like the Panacea Dragoon Saga of the Wii U. You no, know, not Wario, not uh, Devil's Third, but this game. And I got it for a good price, as you see. So, man, be on the look for this, guys, because this game is extremely hard. Oh, okay. Oh, Eric, you know they brought this little. You take pictures, huh? Yes, ma'am, I do. So, this is good prices for these two $4 for those. So I did get all of those games for a dollar. Was Metal Gear, Tekken 6, Pier, Far Cry 2, Uncharted 3, this uh, Blu-ray movie, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. I think it's a Hot Pursuit. Yeah. Final Fantasy 10, Brink Deadpool, which I had 15 on, but still is a dollar. And 
Def Jam icon, which for some odd reason that horrible game is going up. That game is not good at all, guys. Look at this. I can't believe one and two. Twelve dollars a piece. I'm definitely getting both of these. That is a steal. I don't know what else is here. They might be able to get, but those are amazing. All right, so you enjoying the episode, guys? I'm glad that you are. Now this next section, guys, we are gonna take my RK1 up and I'm gonna trade it for a local reseller in town who I did a lot of business with. You won't see a lot, but trust me, guys, the games that I got here are so amazing, guys. I cannot believe all the stuff I'm adding to the collection. It's just been great. That's what I'm saying, guys. Trades are the key to building your collection. So what did I get out of this trade? I'm glad you asked. Let's take a look. Let's go. Guys, I'm on my way to do this big trade in. I have probably about $500 worth in trade because I think we're going to talk about $300 on the arcade one up, which I'm not using no more. That's a Street Fighter one. Then I have some like some Legos and an iPad and some random 360 games that were given to me. So I would say about five on a high end. Maybe four, I don't know. But I'm gonna look at some different games and stuff. I don't know what games I'm gonna get. I'm looking for maybe PS3, Xbox 360, and that's a PlayStation 2. I'm just so tired right now, guys. This Texas heat is no freaking joke. And you'll see what I get soon. Pretty good stuff to, to rebuild this collection again. So guys, I'm gonna hit here. Well, I'm trying to get this traffic in. Punch it in a minute <laughs> in this new car. So let's see. Hold on. Woohoo! There we go. Yeah, sorry, little Honda. All right, guys, I'm on my way. I'll see you soon.
That is a lot of stuff, right, guys? Wow, all those PlayStation and Xbox 360 games that I've missed out that I already had when I sold my collection, but they are back in the collection. I am so excited. And yes, man, he gave me a good deal on the arcade one up. That arcade one up was worth $300, and I know he already sold it. The reason why I traded the Street Fighter 2 arcade one up, well, it was Generation 1, and I did want to get the newer one that are coming out. It's a big blue one. I may get that one or I might get the Legacy Cabinet. I don't know yet. I love Street Fighter. So it was a great opportunity. I didn't pay that much for it, but hey, I flipped it to add games to my collection. And one more thing, guys. I am trying to give you guys stuff. I'm trying to give you gifts. And it's nobody, nobody claimed this right here. Nobody claimed the Southeast Game Exchange. I put out a video. I put the name and they didn't hit me back. So I'm sorry. I'm going to have to move to the next person. So. If you want this, let me know in the comments. At the end of the week, I am going to pick a winner on Friday's video and we're going to post it. We're going to send it out to you. You have to be a U.S. resident and you have to subscribe to the channel. I know if you subscribe or not, so let me know. Well, guys, that is it for episode six of Rebuilding the Collection the Right Way. I am so happy you joined me today. I've got a lot of stuff added to the collection. Let me know, did I add any good things? Did I add some stuff that you already know that's worth something? Or do I need to get rid of something? Do I need to trade something off that that's horrible? Go back and let me know. Also, if you know friends who like videos like this, please share that with them, guys. Thank you for subscribing to the content. If you have anything on the channel that you would like to see me do, cover, go somewhere, please let me know. I am doing a lot of stuff. I just got back from Atlanta. Oh my goodness, I can't wait for you guys to see what we got in Atlanta. It is amazing. It's going to blow your mind. I know on the community page, I've been giving you sneak peeks. So that's right. Always stay tuned to the community page, guys. That's why I'm mostly at all the time. I'm going to be interacting with you guys, talking back and forth. It's going to be amazing. I love this channel. I love you guys. Thank you so much. And I said, guys, if you know somebody who likes content like this, please share it with them because it will help the channel out so much. Well, guys, that's all the time we got for today. And always remember to do it the right way. And remember, support your veterans. Bang! See you later, guys.